So a lot of you guys don't know that during the winter time, uh, my dad and I, we've kind of always painted a lot of helmets and race cars and things like that. Um, we kind of continue to do that. Um, I'm trying to take over a little bit more for my dad because he's, uh, he's ready to retire, man. I mean, the guy's had a good run and yeah, he's trying to pass the torch to me. So um, yeah, we do do a lot of painting, uh, you know, throughout the year and everything. That's kind of how we make our real living is painting and teaching. So. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we also do a lot of helmets and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, for the next couple of vlogs, I'm going to show you guys, uh, kind of the process of doing, doing up a helmet. Um, uh, we just got jet. Don't tell them, uh, a new, uh, Traley designs, uh, SE4, uh, helmet for Christmas. And I mean, as much as I love, uh, the Traley paint job on it, um, we got to have a custom helmet paint job. I mean, that just... The way it goes when your dad and grandpa are painters so we can get this dialed in um it's a really nice helmet he's uh going faster and faster these days so we want to make sure we're, he's in the safest stuff we can find so um we got this killer helmet for him and we're gonna dial it in so uh it matches his new gear that he also got for christmas so yeah check it out so the first thing we need to do is i basically masked it all up um it's literally brand new out of the box there's still tags in there um, I left all the tags on so that way when he opens it, it looks brand, brand new. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some 400 cigarette sandpaper, scratch it up and get ready to put uh, probably a pearl white or maybe silver base on it and put some graphics. I think we're going to go neon, yellow, blue because the rubbers on it are blue. Uh, he likes blue also and it's purple because he likes purple. Trying to think of something else, maybe, maybe some black because his new gear also has some black in it too. So, and maybe like some hot pink. I don't know, something crazy, maybe '80s, kind of like his dad's stuff. We might put the foray up on it. We'll see. Okay, so we pretty well got it all, uh, kind of all sanded up here. Basically, just scuffed it, scuffed it down. Probably hit it with a gray scotch bright, a little bit more in some of the spots, but for the most part, it's actually sanded pretty well. I'm actually impressed. Obviously, Troy Lee is a painter, so he understands um, this whole situation. So, it's actually, it looks like the majority of this is painted, but see, a lot of this stuff here on most helmets is like a digital print, um, and it can be, a lot of times, it can be really, like, you can see each layer in it, and be kind of a pain if you're going to redo it you got to primer it and you know seal it and whatever i might throw a coat of sealer on this just just for cheap insurance but like see this this actually might be that digital print just his little logo but like for the most part i mean it's pretty well pretty well good so yeah say bye bye to the blue so i was able to run over to my dad's shop and sneak away for a few minutes and we're gonna try to put some sealer on this. We decided to put sealer on it, some white, so that we have a nice, good, fresh base. So, got that ready over there and then basically just gonna, I gotta dig and stir this up. This stuff is nasty and gross. Um, but it's part of the job. Put it on the paint shaker. Good, right now. Right there. Get this tightened up one here. Meanwhile, Dad's working hard. Dad likes to go to this. He gets invited every year to what's called the brush off. It's a thing for all the famous pinstripers and custom painters out there. And they do like a little gift, gift exchange panel exchange deal. He takes these little mini hoods and does his thing. So we mix our sealer three to one. It's white. So I'm gonna shoot this on there and then I'm gonna put uh, put a little pearl on it afterwards with some inner coat clear. So that way when we go to tape on it, we'll have some nice pearls. Okay, so we got it all based out white uh, in our side spray booth here. And uh, yeah, don't worry about that, that's drying too. 
and yeah now we're gonna put some chartreuse on it we'll shoot all that neon and then put some pearl with some intercoat clear on it okay so now we have a neon yellow dad mixed up some gold pearl chartreuse i call it neon yellow dad says chartreuse he's official but now i put gold pearl on it and let it sit so we can mask on it so you always know the color is really good is when the bugs find it in our sweet booth over here so got gold pearl on it now I had to switch to the rotisserie because of helmet jet's head so small it's going to fall off the thing but you can see somewhat sunny got a little pearl on there super random and interesting fun fact of the braco race paint world um, you'd be amazed on how many helmets have actually been painted on the side of the house with this. This helmet stand has been with my dad for, I don't know, probably 35 years. As you can see, this tape ball is uh, hard as a rock. But many of championship winning helmets have been uh, dialed in right here from Bob. Jet's super into sharks, so I found some clip art on line and I drew it out on the computer over here so we're gonna add some sharks to it so the next step in the process is trying to figure out what the heck you want to put on it so you just start putting on a bunch of tape trying to make decisions okay so we pretty much got the gist of the design that we would like for this bad boy so now do the other side but in order to do the other side as you can see here there's some butcher paper basically make a stencil stencil it out so that way it's nice and even on both sides and we're good to go so now we finally got the design dialed to where we want it now I gotta go through and I'm gonna cover up some of, because we're changing multiple different colors. So I'm gonna cover some of this stuff so we can start shooting. We're gonna shoot, Jet really likes red and he also likes purple. So or those are a couple colors that's gonna go on it. Maybe a few more, we'll see. And then here's a shark that's gonna go on it. Okay, so we threw this black base on here quickly because the color that we're going to use, it's actually like a chameleon color, goes purple to blue and blue to purple. Uh, Jet really likes purple and blue, so, and that color is actually on all, a lot of my helmets. It's kind of been a staple on a lot of my helmets, so we thought it'd be cool to put it on Jet. So this is just the precursor. It's not even, not even completely all the way on there, but you just want to lightly dust all this because you want to make sure all these lines you don't build up a bunch of big edges so so dad did me a solid i had to go pick up jet from school and do more daddy daycare duties but as you can see he put that purple bluish color we were talking about through a little flake and the inner coat clear peeled some tape so now i gotta mask up all the neon the neon is gonna go candy apple red and then we're gonna put a shark on it and yeah how to get it done for Christmas. So, Dad stepped in to help. It's now Monday, Christmas is Sunday. Time to work. So the shark is now in play. Both sides, face silver. Throw candy red on it, and it's almost done. Maybe put another shark right there.
So since this became a tag team situation to try to get it done, my dad went ahead and threw the candy red on it for me. And uh, yeah, so now I gotta peel this off. We get all the masking off and hopefully all the lines will be good. And we don't have too much cleanup to do. And then we will shoot some clear coat on it. So we're just about done. Peeled the majority of the tape. Came out pretty wicked. Definitely be able to see them on the track. Got some sharks on there. Got some flake in there. Just pretty sweet. It's not a. Now all we got to do is uh, make sure we clean up some of the some of the blow by. But it all looks pretty good. Like see, like right there. Got to fix that. But other than that, we put some clear coat on it. My dad's going to uh, pinstripe his name on the back right there, and we'll be ready for Santa. All right, there it is. Put some clear coat on it. All the sparkles, sharks, neon, sparkly red, sparkly purple. Now there's just one thing left to do other than... My dad's going to pinstripe his name right there. So, other than that, finished product. All right, finishing touches. Just uh, put a little black on here so we got rid of some of the overspray. And Dad put his name on the back. And Let's pick our name. Came out pretty sweet. There it is.